y'all. I hope you can hear me. But I just want to give you something that God has given me. And I want to encourage someone. I'm driving, so I'm not going to be looking at the camera as much. But I was reading um, Matthew 14, chapter 22nd through the 33rd verse. And in this um, chapter of the Bible, it was talking about how... Um, God has sent his disciples to the other side of the water because he was going up to the mountains to pray by himself. And so um, he sent them on by themselves. And the water was kind of rigged or whatever. But then morning, Jesus came to his disciples and um they seen him walking on the water and they thought they spooked him out because they thought he was a ghost. And Peter asked, if you are son of God, call me out on the water. And so Jesus did that. He called him out on the water. And so Peter stepped out and started walking on the water and left behind the other disciples. But see, Peter lost sight because he got focused on the, the storm, the rigged waters, and he began to sink. So he called out for God, to, uh, for Jesus to save him, and so he did. But what I got from that was, why are you still in the boat when God is calling you to the waters? There's some things in our life that God wanna bless us with, but because we're comfortable in that boat, and that boat is our place of comfort, comfort um, or being comfort, it's our security, it's our place of safety. And God wants you, wants you with more. He wants to provide you with more. But you will not step outside that boat. We condemn Peter for losing sight. And God said he was a man of little faith. But yet and still, he took that chance and he stepped out on water unlike the other disciples. The thing about that, you will never know what the um, if you can walk on water if you never try. You will never know if you're going to walk on water if you never try. So today, I want to know, what is your boat? And what I mean by that, what is the things that makes you feel secure, complacent, and safe? The point that you do not go out and do what God has for you to do. Whether it's to buy that new house, whether it's to start working in your business, whether it is to do the works for him that he has given you the dreams and the visions of. And what is your water? What's the things that you want to do? Like the business, um, the career, going back to school. What are those, what are those things? Because God wants us to have more. He wants you to step out on the water. He wants you to trust him because he is um, the man of the sea. He's not going to allow you to um, drown. You might sink, but you're not going to drown. So whatever it is that's holding you, lose it. Because God has so much more for you. Helen Keller, this blind author that I used to read her book, said, there's nothing worse. Um, they asked her, what is something worse than being blind? And she said, to have sight and not a vision. And that really stuck hard. And it really meant something. You gotta think about what you said, to have sight and not a vision. A lot of us have a sight, but we don't have the vision. So whatever it is that's keeping you from getting out the boat and to receive all your blessings and all that God has for you this, this year, you better let that thing go. Because God has so much more for you. Get out the boat.